It's okay. It was all audio though. Let's just use the audio. We've done it before. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Rockadoodle. Rockadoodle do. And this here is Frank rocking the Rockathon t shirt. Remember the Rockathon? Yeah, this one's from 2008. Oh man. So the Rockathon, I don't know if your guys' middle schools do it, but you get a team and you rock on a chair for. Rocking chair. Rocking chair for 20. Is it. 12 hours? I think it's 12 hours. The Rockathon. It's like a marathon of rocking chair. It's like a. Uh, it's like so. Continuous. Yeah. So there's a team and the chair, your chair needs to be rocking at all times for the, for the 12 hour duration. Right. And like the gymnasium. And um, money, the entry money is goes to the charity of the their choice. I don't understand. Like, I still try to understand the whole sponsorship for marathons and mm-hmm. all the. Like, Why can't you not understand it? I'm, we're going to rock for 12 hours. Will you donate to us? Okay. It's like, I of would, course. I'll donate to you I know, regardless. I know that. But it's, it makes it more fun. It makes it more like motivation. Okay? And it's like where I don't have money, I have energy and young pep. And I will. Well, yeah, it's like just a game. So I will do this. Yeah. And you, you, so it's like, uh, it just turns the whole thing. Yeah. I remember in, in the old days. And so you would say, would you like to give to the March of Dimes? And it'd be like, maybe, maybe not. Who cares? But then we used to have to go around, knock on neighbor's doors. And we would say, we're going to do a walkathon. We're going to, we're going to walk. Will you pledge to give me one dime for every mile I walk? No, that, no way. Mile? That would be crazy. How many I'd miles? I'd be lucky if were? I got a dollar. <laughs> Whatever it was, a dollar so a it mile. It was like it was harder to say no. It was more fun. It gave the walker energy. Like it gave you motivation. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking on this rocking chair for. Remember, a uh, it was on the office. He screwed up on um, um, the rabies awareness or something. No, the one where someone wanted. It might have been Toby or something. He told um, Michael, "Would you pledge my nephew?" Or and then Michael. Pledge too much. Oh, uh, like he like gave twenty five dollars like, a mile, a, a <laughs> foot. Or, I don't know what it was, but he's yeah. pretty. Anyway. Oh yeah, was it like? Okay, yeah, I, I kind of remember. Yeah. So that is motivation for um people to give to charity, which brings me to actually today is today is Wednesday. It is. No. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Thursday, you goofs. Today's Thursday, January thirteenth, and it is National Rubber. Rubber Ducky Day. He's in his Rubber Ducky oh, Yellow. Rubber Ducky Yellow. Um, but they they do have Rubber Ducky races in the same um, spirit of what you're talking about. So I am going to release a bunch. It's usually in a river in your in your town. Yeah. And I, and I say, would you like to adopt this uh, Rubber Ducky, right? And you say, okay. And I say, it's $2. What I, happens if my Rubber Ducky wins? You win a prize. Oh, really? Yeah. Like so a then, brand new Honda Civic? No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. That would defeat the purpose of of fundraising. If you get thirty thousand rubber duckies, I don't think there's. I think I do not think thirty thousand people are in part of this. If you get thirty thousand rubber duckies, yeah, and twenty thousand uh, a dollar a piece, two dollars yeah. a piece, yeah, okay. But that's not what's sixty thousand dollars. You give someone a twenty thousand dollar car, they're excited. Forty thousand dollars go to charity. Maybe the thirty thousand rubber ducky race. Who's in? I and just need each of our followers I, to buy a hundred duckies. Yeah, I don't know, but that it, there is the rubber ducky races. T- today is the birthday of the Sesame Street rubber ducky. You know rubber ducky. Rubber ducky, ducky you're the one. one. You, you make, make bath, bath time so much fun. fun. Rubber, rubber ducky, ducky, I'm all fully fond of you. Ernie. Ernie and, and Bert. Or uh, it's not Bert. That's just, just Ernie. Ernie. Ernie's friend, rubber ducky, his day is today. And... um. The rubber ducky toys were actually, a, you know what a rubber ducky looks like. I do. <laughs> it's classic. It is. But it was made as a child's chew toy. I could see that. Which is funny because we don't, you call them like teething. Uh, like when you think of a chew toy, you think of a dog. Yeah. You know. But. um. Why don't we still have chew toys? For babies? No. Oh, for people? Why not? I, don't, I, I guess, guess that's just chewing gum, isn't it? No. You could chew on a chew toy, a, a dog toy, maybe. Like you know, like like there's some adults that just don't not adults, 
But you know, you meet someone in your grown up age and like they still suck their thumb like uh, on, on the down no. low. I met like two people that do. No, it. like I haven't seen them do it. But like I'm not. They, they, I'm not thumb sucking <laughs> shaming. But no, like they confess to me like, and it's like <gasps> a comfort thing. And I'm like, what? A guy and a girl, two different, two not even the same. First crowds. of all, germs. Yeah, I mean it's disgusting. Don't get me wrong, but second of all, germs. <laughs> I know. don't understand it, but I don't understand a lot of things that bring people comfort. Okay, it's fine if people want to suck their thumb. Um, the, 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 there's friendly floaties. Ever hear, hear of friendly floaties? It was an unfriendly floaty. <laughs> so it was a bunch of toys that I think they were coming from China. I don't remember now, but... Um, China. It was turtles, bears, rubber duckies, and they're all rubber, but it was like green, blue, yellow, red or something. It's like a circle floaty? No, like a rubber ducky. Ah. Rubber ducky, rubber turtle, rubber bear. Okay, I'm following. And um, it was on a container ship out in the middle of the ocean. And it broke? It broke. 28,800 of the toys. That's literally what I, that's the thing I just made. <laughs> 30,000 rubber duckies. Oh my God, you're right. Wow. Okay, so these broke in the middle of the ocean. And um, it's probably not good for the uh, marine life. I think it's fine because there's no air hole in it. It literally floated, floated. But uh, anyway, uh, they've been using them um, to model ocean currents. Oh, uh, wait, and so they still use them? I think so, yeah. And it was like in the 90s. That's pretty cool, actually. And it was really um, so insightful. They would have never done it ethically, but since it happened, they were able to watch it. Imagine being lost at sea and um, you're just like hoping to find a boat and instead you just see 30,000 rubber ducks yeah. coming towards you. You, you would think like you, dream you would it, think yeah. like the world is just playing one big joke yeah. on you. I was driving home today from a um, some study I did and I was like on Cotman in Frankfurt and those dirt bike boys were just uh, flying. Always very just, big in Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, the um the bike cult the motor bike culture. Yes. Um you know, you saw Meek Mill. Yeah. Got still arrested. doing it yeah. while he was famous. But it just gives me so much anxiety. Oh, around uh, for them to be around you? Yeah, just like zipping around, just yeah. oncoming traffic. And they do the wheelies. But I, I rare to see them on one wheel or the ATVs. Two. It's like the ATVs and, and it's just 30 of them just all down Cotman Ave. On one wheel? On two wheels? The ATV, you know, the ATVs, the quads. Oh, right. Um, But Four. I was thinking about it and I am not from your boomer time. Dramatic pause. Neither am I, but go ahead. It's kind of like that. It's, it's kind of like the modern day motorcycle gang, is it not? Like when you see the, the Hell's Angels rolling in? No. It was scaring me. The only reason that the dirt bikes or the ATVs scare me is because I feel like they're going to fall off That's and I'm going to run over them. We were afraid of the motorcycle gangs because they were like killing people, uh, raping people, gotcha. making meth. No, I was like scared. Like, These are just reckless teenagers. I was scared. Like what if they like... Start circling no, they don't around my car. The people up as far I didn't as think I, I was going to get shooken up. I thought I was just going to get like get too close to me and then be like, "Hey, look at him! He's listening to Taylor Swift." That's no, what I was thinking. I turned, I turned my sound they down. They don't care about the drivers. Today is National Gluten Free Day. Oh, it's your day. It's my day. And have you eaten anything gluten free? NGFD, no, but I just sent someone. No, you didn't. So you haven't eaten anything today. <laughs> You're right. I have, um, but like. Vegetable soup. Uh, Vegetable I just soup. sent someone to get me a gluten-free tuna hoagie. Jay's hoagie joint. Um, Where's that? At? It's by Nishamini, right outside of Philadelphia. Mm, yum. And it's Saint Newt's Day. K N U T. Where are they from? Sweden and Finland. Um, remember, we did. Brrr, it was when I had COVID. Someone's day, and it was ten days after Christmas or something. Yeah. This is 20 days, I think, after Christmas. Mm. Over there in Sweden and Finland. Um, yeah, the 20th day after Christmas. Wait, but that wasn't a real saint, remember? I know. But this is... That was... Uh, it was... It was What What? What did... Uh, a prin- I keep on saying Princess Diana. Sleeping Beauty, prick her finger on. Oh, the sta- distaff. Distaff. You're right. It was Saint Distaff. Probably so many saint days, they're just like, oh, it's saint day. Yeah. So this well, is... Well, that... No, it's Saint Valentine was a real person. Saint Newt Day... Um, the Christmas trees are taken down. I guess it takes people make it another yeah, holiday. Make it another holiday. <laughs> take it down. Take it down. The candies and cookies that decorated the tree are eaten. Um, it's actually in Swedish called Christmas tree plundering, but in Finland, oddly enough, it seems more like a, um a Halloween. Oh, because the they instead of like a Santa Claus, it's like a um what's that guy's name Krampus. Mm. 
they these um men they're dressed with like the goat horns and the Ooh. fur coats and they go house to house and they demand food from the household especially leftover alcoholic beverages and um what's a leftover alcoholic beverage is that like already opened or is it just yeah, saying like from the from like you had a, a christmas parties and I don't now think you have like a half of a case Oh yeah, I thought you meant a cook, half a glass. Well, like when you say leftovers, that's I know what it I don't know. Like. That's what it said. But um, or they'll commit evil deeds if you don't give them what you want, which is literally the art of Halloween or treat. Yeah, treat. It should be treat or trick. Why are you like coming out with the trick? You're getting a trick, or you, well, because we'll you're threatening. You're, oh, you're threatening it's that. not like yeah. Halloween. It's like you're going to get a trick. I the will only way be, I will exactly. be swayed by May, a tree. Maybe I'll be swayed. Maybe I'll be swayed by a tree. Which uh, we talked about Halloween originated as a pagan holiday in Ireland. As they all did. And so they're still celebrating it that now. But much like our Halloween, it's mostly celebrated nicely by children at this point. It's not... Um, it's not evil drunkards. <laughs> it's not evil drunkards like the... Like the mummers. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get flack for that one. Evil drunkards. Okay. Um, it's National Sticker Day. That's all I got for that. And I don't know nice. what we would National do about. National Sticker Day. What would we do about stickers? Come on. Uh, I like stickers. I was going to give you one. I forgot to bring it. I had a sticker. I was wearing a name tag. You had a sticker. I did. Well, is a name tag considered a sticker? E- if it's sticky. Yeah, it not if it's a pin it or was, a lanyard. It was not. It was a sticky sticker. When I was in middle school, stickers were huge. I don't know if they still are with that crowd, but we had photo albums full of stickers and you would you would buy pages of them and scratch and sniff, puffy, googly eye, sparkle, just so many. Um, the nine, the whole nine. We even had the garbage pail kids. Mm, don't stickers. even get me started with the garbage <laughs> pail kids. So today's sticker day, uh, but sticker shock is when you... The car's too expensive? What is sticker yeah, shock? Yeah, well, that makes sense because you, so. you have the, the sticker on the car that gives you the little MSRP. Mm-hmm. And if it's sticker shock, it's like, oh, that's a nice car. You look at the old uh, sticker. It's right. like, whoa, whoa, not your, for $20, it's not. And your car is in the shop. Like, we have a video. Why did I bring that up? We have a video of your car being towed away somewhere here um, on shorts, if you look in the playlist of shorts. And that wasn't even. That was a different time. Which <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the same time. So no, it's a different time. He came home. No, <laughs> okay. It's or not... she? Cars or girls? I think mine's non-binary. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. But no, so you know, we took it in the shop for like I was driving and the engine was cutting on out and I'm like, no, why am I doing this? I want to drive a lot of manual transmission. Poetic license. Poetic justice and. It would just like just stopped on me. So I was like, oh, that's kind of scary. Drove it home, took it to the shop, was ready to buy a whole new transmission for money that I don't know I would have had to dance on stage for. Uh, they gave me a call about a week later. It's like, you just need a new battery. Ah. Does it cost some money? Yeah. Not nearly as much as you're going to spend. Good news. And I said, the good news is here. Let me preach the good news. My car is com- coming out of the shop. Driving around yesterday. Do, do, do. And I'm like... That's it. It's a catalytic converter. You made that up. I don't know anything about cars. I hope it's not. And and if it is, the Lord will provide your car for me. Oh, the Lord will provide my car for you. That's right. He works in mysterious ways. It's not very mysterious. Anyway, Time guys. Time to dance. You just said you'll dance on stage. Oh and I know exactly the dance you'll do. I can't remember the little... Da, 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 that the lady says, or I would have said it. Guys, it is my through. favorite day of the week. It is Thursday, Thursday and um, <clears throat> on Thursday we do a little thing called Walk Through Thursday. Ever heard of it? So, without further ado, adieu, 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 roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun, cause Walk Through Wednesday just begun. All right, guys, we are here, and we are here to stay. It is Walk Through Thursday, my absolute favorite time of the year. And what we do on Walk Through Thursday, let me tell you, we open up the Bible. Bible's open. And we pick a verse, and we walk through it slowly. We try to get meaning out of every single word. It's quite literally the opposite of One Word Wednesday. One Word Wednesday is we start small. And make it big. Oh, we 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 get we get. Oh, bi- that's very smart. Yeah, we get big ideas out of a small word. Right. Walk through Thursdays. We get a big verse. 
not big, but, and we try to get each little tidbit. You ever like, uh, you're, 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 you're trying, you're, you have something really good to eat and you're trying to get every last little bit of flavor out of it. Yeah. I saw something that said who was with me that when you do have a, a, a plate of delicious food and it, it's all delicious, but you know, some pieces are just more perfect. Yes. Do you save, uh, do always. you save the perfect piece of I always save the pie perfect piece. for the last bite? Anytime I get Chinese, I get chicken and broccoli and people think I'm crazy for this, but I like it. I eat all the broccoli people first. People think you're crazy for having chicken and broccoli? No. I eat I, oh. <laughs> I eat the broccoli first. <laughs> That's like, what they think you're crazy yeah, for. Yeah, like I pick out each piece of broccoli. Okay. And it's like, why are you doing... And then I mix all the chicken and rice together. Long story short, this is why I do it. It makes okay. so much sense in my head. The broccoli is good. Yeah. It's not anything compared to the chicken and rice and sauce together. Okay. When are you the hungriest? Before you eat or while you start oh, eating. Oh, you don't want to leave back the broccoli. So the broccoli tastes the best in the beginning. It's like, I'm so hungry. Oh, this is so good. This yeah. is so good. And then once I'm full from broccoli, all that's left is the chicken and rice that will always be good. Right. Even if I have it for leftovers. Try it out. I can't because I don't eat meat, but I maybe I could have broccoli and tofu. Yeah, I think they have that. I'm sure. But anyway, guys, today we're reading out of the books, a book of Acts. Not A X E A C T S. Acts. Acts. What words are they trying to say yesterday? Oh, excerpt. 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 I don't excerpt. know how to say it casually. Well, don't don't pronounce the C if you want to say it casually. I would think excerpt. 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 But no, it's more of the PT. I, I, oh. Wait, let me try to get in the microphone here. This is how I, I like. Only way I can say it. Excerpt. But you're just trying end? too hard. It's like the yeah. Excerpt. 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 Now you got me saying it weird. Excerpt. Well, do you say received? No, because the P silent. But if I if you excerpt. make the, the P silent excerpt is the excerpt. Oh, excerpt. Excerpt stage oh my left. Gosh. We're, <laughs> we're, we're th- okay. All right, guys. We were, we were told recently that we are obsessed with the English language, and not in a good way. You yes, it was it. What were we told that we're obsessed with the English language, not in a good way? Yeah. And we comb through it with a fine toothed comb. Mm-hmm. But what I ask is. Is that the worst thing in the world? I know. To to, you know, isn't that what they did back in the Roman days? Once they had all this knowledge, they were yeah. like, "Now let's look within ourselves." No, like that's that's isn't is not all of like ancient philosophy Reflection. just about like wordplay yeah. as well? Like, yeah. Well, what is what is? And it's like, hmm. yeah, I never thought of it like that. And it, to be fair, to it'd be, be fair, it'd be different if we were pointing to others and saying. You use the wrong T O O, but we do it to ourselves all the yeah, time. So. You know, don't pick the log out of the don't look at the spec without looking at the log. We look we at the just, log. We just we just all we're, we're worried about specs over here. That's right. I got a spec, you got a spec. Look under your seat. There's a spec. Spectrum. Guys, we're reading Acts. Acts 14. 14 to 18. Good, good. Now Acts <laughs> <laughs> No, Acts is a book of Paul. Um, okay. Right? I think yeah, I, New Testament. I don't Paul. know. Um, yeah, because well, Paul is in this actual story. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, let's just let's just start reading. Okay. It. fourteen to eighteen. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of this, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, "Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God." who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. In the past, he let all nations go their own way. Yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Okay, so I'll give you the... Let's give, give us the background. I'll give you the background and the foreground, if that makes sense. So in this story, um, Barnabas... And then we'll find some common middle ground. <laughs> Barnabas and Paul have visited a town as they were wont to do to, do, to spread the word of God. And um, they went around on their own volition preaching the word of God. But the Holy Spirit also enabled them to create... Um, they would... I was going to say miracles, but like they did cure people and make... Um, spiritual happenings that impressed the people in the towns. I'm impressed. Okay. So um, 
Paul and Barnabas, they're going around to foreign places. That's not, they're not from there because they want to spread the word to strangers. Yes. The, the people were against them. Get out of here. You're, you're, you're demons and devils and you're liars and you're, you're mixing up trouble. Get out of here. That happened. Then they cured a man who, um, he was lame. And, and, he, and they said, <laughs> yeah, dude, you're lame. No. Here, he, I'll fix that. He, was, he puts on, he puts sunglasses on him. It's like, you're not lame anymore. He was handicapped. And they oh. said, get up. I think it was Paul, get up and walk. And the man got up and walk. When he did that, then the people turned. So they were going to, they were stoning him. They turned and were like, you are gods. Oh. You are. And they ran and they brought sacrifices for them. And they brought, you know, they, they wanted to honor them as gods. Okay. So in the part that you just read, Barnabas and Paul are shouting, stop it, stop it. We are humans. God is the one that you should, that's where, we, and it's, uh, and then right, Paul and Barnabas. right and after that, the crowd turned against them again and did stone them out of town. <laughs> so it is the, right. it is the very unstable um, effect you get when you talk to strangers and what they want to make of you. Okay. So that is the story and then then this starts before they're being they're before they're being hated then they're being then they're being um yay that's what you come in okay okay and when, so, and when you're done it's going to be so the, get they, out. They, they just cured the, the lame they just, dude they just cured the lame dude okay so let's start with 14 okay but when the apostles barnabas and paul heard of this they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd shouting so one thing I don't know if there's much to say about this yeah. 14, except for what you always see, which is um, the tradition of tearing oh, right. your clothes. I'm always confused as to what it means, because I think it means like... like high emotion. Or, yeah, hi yeah, high emotions. Like there's like a, a dishonor about it, but there's like you, you often see like... I don't, I don't know if dishonor is the word, but it's like if you've done something bad or like... You want to escape from, it's like, it's a, from it. Yeah, and I think in this way, it's... Even though they didn't do something bad, right? I, I, is it like an earthly oh, reminder, right. like, like we are not gods? Like right. it's like how di like I don't even want to be compared. Like, and so in a way, it's like the loss I, I of guess, stopping them. I, I guess that's right. the word. It's like um, it's like humble. Your like when you're when you're um, you've done dishonor. It's like you're humbling yourself to that. Like, right. I am nothing. But in this way, it's even though they're not. Oh, look what I've done. It's like that dishonor. Like, I'm not, I am nothing. Yeah, and, I, I'm nothing. and I felt that for other people. <laughs> I when, felt that. When, when, when people do something and, and you have no control to stop them from doing it, but you feel so strongly like you so shouldn't have done that, you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. 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 Rah, 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 rah. Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. So here, here, um, I, friends, why are you doing this? We are two or only human like you. Here's why I think this entire thing's important, but this line, um, I like this verse because we, I think we always do too much of talking bad on religious leaders mm. and we don't talk bad on them, but we, come with a healthy skepticism that they want to be something more yes than the word yeah and yeah exactly and, and it's like oh like they're they're preaching their views and using the bible to correct it now this is kind of going to the opposite right mm -hmm. this is like there are like we love pope francis right and it's like if we started worshiping pope francis right he too would say i am just a human like what you are getting excited about is good. What the, like the fire that's lit inside you is right. is good. But it's like you're not directed. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's like that's the most important thing is like for the for anyone. If someone's preaching their own word, it's like you should be given God's message. And for the people that are given God's message, they want you to know it's God's message. I know we bring this up all the time, but that's how Billy Graham. Every time he you know was out, he put the when people would cheer, he'd put the Bible up, and it was like. A reminder to the people, but I, I think also it was a reminder to Billy Graham. Like, right. I am only human, and it's like when I hear cheering, like I, I need to direct it somewhere. Like, right. I, I, I'm human. You're human. 
I am giving you the words of God. Right. I am I'm showing you the miracles of faith. Right. Through this right here. Yeah. The Bible. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting because um, also uh, I believe with the Jewish people that that a lot of the things that they wear, the, the, the yarmulke and, and the tassels and such are all things to remind themselves that they are, that it's God and then they're mm-hmm. working for God, but they are not yes. coming up with it themselves. So da, 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 da. Telling you, so then just, we're telling you to turn from these worthless things mm-hmm. to the living God who made up the, the earth and the seas and everything in them. Um, all right, 16. In the past, he let all nations go their own way, yet he is not himself, yet he, oh wait, that's it. Yeah. In the past, he let all nations go their own way. It's just that free will. Yeah, that's what he I was about to say. He doesn't force you. I, I was about to say, I, I think there's a, like an interesting transition that isn't seen as much because it's not, like, it's not like, there's not an exact point where it's like, Wait, so the Israeli Israelites, the Israelites were the chosen one. Mm-hmm. And it was like they had God's favor. And someone might read the Old Testament and be like, "Well, I'm not I'm not an Israelite." It's like right. uh, like am I not the chosen one? There is a point and it's with, you know, like when Jesus comes that he lets there there like you are all my, my the children of God right. and it's like you've all gone your own way. And and that is part of that free will. It's like it's no longer like you have my favor and you don't. It's everyone has their free will to come to find God right on their own journey. Um. All right, that was a little short one. Seventeen. Yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their season. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Now, this is interesting, right? Because these are not believers right. of God. So I think this once again says like. They're saying, we just watched you yeah. make this man walk. So I want to celebrate you. Yeah. And, and, and Paul's and, saying, well. Yeah, well, that, and, and that kind of goes with the last one. It's like, I'm not finding you and saying, I'm bringing you God, right? Like I, or because even if, oh, well, they think they're God, but I'm not bringing you new information. A long time ago, God let his people right. go different ways. So he's talking to them like, you are the people that, that, right. that traveled. And it's like, once again, they're celebrating him. And it's like, right. God is like, who do you think is giving you all of the... the mir- these miracles, like, so these you, everyday just, you miracles. just... Right. You just think you saw a miracle. Yeah. But isn't it a miracle that rain falls on your land? And yeah. That, and you have plenty of food and, and your hearts right. are filled with joy. It's like, I'm not bringing you... Right. I'm not like, uh, yeah, basically it's, I'm telling you about God. I'm not bringing you God. He's right. here. Right. He, you you came here with him. Right. He brings you joy. He brings you right because plenty full of food. He's saying that they let he let the um, the nations go their own way. So he didn't say you must follow me because look at all the stuff I do for yeah. you. Or come back to come back to Israel. Like right. That's where God is. It's but he he didn't he did not leave himself without testimony. Meaning he wasn't silent in your life. Yes. He is very active in your here. life he's, every day. Like, I'm literally I'm telling you. What has been here? Right. Who you are the children of? Right. Not who you, who you can become. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. So is yeah. that? Are they stoning them yet? They're. That's still that's still sacrificing to them. No, I know. In your in this paragraph, fourteen to eighteen, the crowd oh, is okay. dismissing okay. them, saying that they did good works from God. They're yeah. like, no. We want to follow you. Mm-hmm. We want you to be our leader. We want you, you know, we're going to so, treat you like a God. I kind of like it because that kind of sums it up. It's like they've literally spelled it out for them. Mm-hmm. And um, they were like, and it was still, they're like, okay, okay, but we love you. We worship you. And I think if I make an entire point, it's the point I made earlier, which is we need to be careful when we do this. Because yeah. when we'll find someone in life, it might be Billy Graham who spiritually mm-hmm. moves you. And it's like, you could say like, yeah, we believe in God, we believe in God, but oh my God, like it's Billy Graham. Yeah, right. It, it's like we we can't help but to idol, like, yeah. you know, like uh, idols, like, uh, like yeah. American next next top uh, idol. It's like, <laughs> American. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. <laughs> American <laughs> Idol, American's <laughs> next top model, American Idol. Oh my God. Jeez. We idolize these right. people right. when they're not we're not idolizing their voice no what gets us so excited about them is god's words and it's like right. so when we keep idolizing them it's like they're like what are you doing like, right i'm 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 not i'm not here doing, doing art i'm not here like i'm what the single thing i'm exciting you about is 
the fact that you should be cheering for someone else right and not me so that's i think it's somewhere. cautionary um in a way for uh, for you not to do that to someone else but also if people do it to you mm -hmm. to get out of the way and not be tempted yeah. to f you know people pipe you up and you know and it's you it's you it's you and for you to say wait a second where is this Good coming point. from i mean we always hear about being martyrs or or, or or suffering for christ i don't think we talk enough about being um being lifted up and, and appreciated yeah and it's like it's much easier <laughs> i don't say i want to say much easier but for, you know for to suffer and, mm -hmm. and be content with god right, god you're not tempted god is guiding you right mm -hmm. you can be that little sheep when, when you're hurting when people are literally sacrificing lambs to you yeah is it as easy to say i am just a sheep being yeah. led no yeah. it's not and I, th and I think it's just as important as the the former yeah the um the, the the there's a Netflix um there was I don't know if it's still in there a documentary about Tony Robbins it's called I'm not your guru mm -hmm. because I don't know how religious he was but or is he's alive but he was saying I am teaching you how to channel your energy and everything like that but I don't want to be your guru I just want, I'm with you I'm, yeah, yeah you're I'm my, with you're, you you're my right. brother and I want to lift you up right I'm not your lead like I'm not leading you right we're walking together like, I'll right. walk with you up this mountain mm -hmm. I'm not up the mountain like like telling, right. pulling you up right but that, guys, is Walk Through Thursday. Ever heard of it? Just my favorite day of the week. Look at the playlist, and because I don't think we've done acts before. We haven't done acts before. Okay, so I think we might have something new. Really? I don't know. I'll check. All right. We do Isaiah a lot. We, we do, do Psalms Isaiah. a lot. We do. But anyway, guys, we'll be back tomorrow for Dr. Seuss Friday. We're just gonna rack up the entire collection, of Dr. Seuss, soon. I know. I don't mind. <laughs> but we'll see you then. So tune in, stay sharp, and remember. Always stay hungry. Peace. <laughs>